Hey guys, welcome back to Mode Bespoke. I'm Athenas. Today's tutorial, we're going to be making Easter baskets. So let's get started. materials we'll be using for today's tutorial. Pause the video if you need to write them down. One skein of Karen Big Cakes will make up to three baskets. So this is what our finished basket will look like and we will be working the pattern in three parts. So we're going to make the base of the basket and then we're going to make the walls of the basket and we're going to work on the top edge and then we're going to do the strap. So we'll start it on one side and then just sew it on on the other side. We'll be using double crochets for the strap as well as for the base of the basket. And the sides of the basket, we're just going to work those in single crochets. So we're going to work regular single crochets and front post single crochets. So this is the yarn I'm using. It's Karen Big Cakes. It's a really big skein. I made two large baskets and I still had some leftover yarn. You can make up to three baskets with one skein. You will just have to make it a little bit smaller. So this is the leftover yarn I have. So I'll be making another basket with that same yarn. So the base of the basket is about eight inches across. So if you're going to make a smaller basket, you might reduce it by about an inch and you can, you'll be able to make three baskets with that one skein. So we're just going to start with the base of the basket first and then we'll move on to the sides. So to start the base, we're going to need to start with a chain four. To start with a slip knot, you're going to need to wrap the yarn around two of your fingers and then just pinch where the two ends of the yarn meet, grab your hook insert it into the loop and you're going to grab some yarn and pull that through the loop. Now just hold the yarn with your index finger so that you can move your other two fingers out of the loop and then tighten your knot by pulling on the two strands of yarn. So we'll just tighten the yarn around the hook and we're going to start with a chain of four. So just lay the yarn over your last three fingers and wrap it around your index finger. And with your middle finger and your thumb, just pinch the knot that's under the hook. So to make a chain, you're going to wrap the yarn around your hook. So I'll show you again. Just wrap it around the hook and pull it through the loop that you have on your hook. So that's one chain. So we're going to do it again. So wrap the yarn around your hook. Pull that through the loop, and that's two. We're going to do that two more times so that we have four chains to start with. So that's three, and then four. So now we need to join the ends so that we have a round. So to do that, we're going to insert our hook into the very first chain. So anywhere on the first chain is fine, so long as it's in the stitch. So insert your hook and then you're going to yarn over. So that's the yarn. So just yarn over and pull it through the two loops on your hook. So there's the first loop and then the second loop and we've closed our round. So now we have a round to work with and we're going to work in the center of the round and we're going to start working with double crochets. So we will need to start with a chain two. So we chain one and then we chain two. And we're going to make our first double crochet and all of our 10 double crochets total is what we need into the center of the circle. So to make a double crochet, you'll need to yarn over. You can just hold the yarn down with your index finger. You're going to insert your hook into the center of the circle. So right into the center that we made right there. So we're going to insert your hook, yarn over, and then pull your hook out of the stitch. You're going to be left with three loops on your hook. 
So you'll need to yarn over and pull through two loops. So there's one and then two and then yarn over and pull through two more loops. So that's our first double crochet. So for the rest of them you can either hold the little tail of yarn just along the edge of your round and you can just crochet over it or you can just leave it there and you can yarn um, weave it in once you're done. So I'm just going to hide the tail so I don't have to weave it in later. So we're going to make another double crochet into the center of the circle. So you yarn over, just going to hold the yarn down with my index finger, insert my hook into the center of the round. So I'm going to hide the yarn right there, yarn over, and pull your hook out. So you'll have three loops, yarn over, pull through two, and then you'll yarn over and pull through two more. So now we have two double crochets. I'll show you how to do one more and then you'll need to make the remaining seven so that you have a total of ten. So wrap your yarn around your hook, insert your hook into the stitch and yarn over. You'll have three loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So now we have three double crochets. So keep crocheting until you have a total of 10 double crochets and I will see you when I finish the round. So I'm at the end, I've made 10 double crochets and now I need to close the round. So to do that, you're gonna notice that these little stitches right here, that's the chain you started with. So those, those are the chain two. You're gonna start working into the topmost stitch. So count the first one and then the second chain and then there's the third one and it's right above your very first double crochet that you that you made at the beginning of the round that's the stitch we're going to work into so here's the double crochet and here's the stitch so it's right up here at the top you'll need to look for the little V's so those are your stitches you're going to insert your hook under the little V's so just go through the stitch, it'll go under the V, and that's how you stitch into it. So let me get my yarn back on my hook, and we're going to make a slip stitch. So into that top stitch, we're going to insert our hook, then we'll yarn over and pull our hook out. Now we're going to get this first loop through the second loop. So just pull that first loop all the way through the second one, and that is the slip stitch. You'll need to slip stitch at the end of every round. And then we're going to start with a chain two, and you'll do this for every round as well. Now we're going to make our first double crochet into the stitch right here. It's the one right next to the chain. So these are all the stitches, and we're going to do the same for all of these in this round. And we're going to need to make two double crochets in every stitch. So the very first one will be different, so the very first one only gets one double crochet. And I'll tell you why here in just a second. So we have our chain and that double crochet, so that will count as two double crochets. So we're gonna go into the next stitch and make two double crochets. So here's the first one. And then we'll make the second one. So there we have two double crochets in one stitch. So we're gonna, we're gonna do the same in the stitch right after that. So here's the stitch and we need to make two double crochets. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna make the circle wider. So it's gonna make it a lot bigger and then wider and it's gonna keep it flat. So now I'll make a second double crochet. And there we go. So we have two and two, and then these two count as two. Work your way all the way around this round. So make two double crochets in every stitch, including this little last one. I'll turn it around. So this last stitch also gets two double crochets, and then I'll show you how to close the round. So I made my way around. I made two double crochets in every stitch, and I'm here at the very end. So these are my last two double crochets, and here's that chain. 
And here's my first double crochet of the row. So I'm going to need to slip stitch into that one. So insert my hook, yarn over, pull the hook back out, and I'm gonna pull the first loop through the second loop. And we've closed the round. So you'll do this every time. For our next round, we're gonna start with a chain two. And we're gonna make our first double crochet I'll get closer into this very first stitch. So it's this one right here next to the chain. So we just make one double crochet. And then in the next stitch, we're gonna make one double crochet. So in that one right there, we're just going to yarn over, insert our hook, yarn over, and then we just yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So we have this one that has two, this one that has one, and the next one we need to make two double crochets. So we have one double crochet, and then we need to make a second one in that same stitch. So now we had two. In the next stitch, we're just gonna make one double crochet. And then we'll go into the stitch after that and make two double crochets. So there was one and here's our second double crochet and it's in that same stitch. The rest of the round you're going to work in the same way. So you'll make one double crochet and then two double crochets in the next one. One, two double crochets. Work your way around. So I worked my way around and I made a slip stitch and now we start the chain two for our next row and our very first double crochet. So there we go. So for the next two stitches we'll only make one double crochet in each. So just yarn over and make your first double crochet in the next stitch. So there's the one. And then we're going to make one double crochet in the stitch after that one. So there's two. And in this in the stitch after that one, you need to make two double crochets. So you have one, one, and then two double crochets. So one, one, two, and then one, one, two. So I'll make one double crochet in this next stitch. And then one double crochet in the stitch after that. And in that third stitch, we'll make two double crochets so that we have one, one, and then two. So we'll make two double crochets in this stitch. So there's one, and we'll make that second double crochet in the same stitch. You're gonna do the same thing for the rest of the row. So one, one, two, one, one, two. So I'm at the end of the row, and I need to make two double crochets here at the very end. So you might do this in some rows and you maybe won't in others, but if you do have to make two double crochets at the end of your row, just make both of them like you normally would. So in this row I needed to, so there are my two double crochets and now I can just close my round. So we're closing the round the same way we uh, I showed you two rounds ago. So just make a slip stitch in the very first stitch of the round. So now for the rest of the, uh, the base of the basket, you're gonna do the same thing. So for every round, you're gonna add one extra double crochet. So we'll do one more. So we're gonna chain two, gonna make our first double crochet, and we're gonna make one, 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 and then two double crochets. So you'll add one single double crochet every, for every round. So we started our first round, so it was just the 10, and then we had 
two in each one, and then the round after that it was one, and then one, two, one, one, two, and one after that it was one, one, and then two, and one after that, one, 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 and then two. So just keep adding one double crochet every time you loop around. If this doesn't make sense, look on the pattern. If not, this next screen, I've written it down, just the first four rounds, so that way you can kind of see what it is I said only in writing. If you need to pause it, go ahead and pause. Otherwise, check the written pattern. So here's the work that we've made so far, and this is how it compares to our basket. So we're only halfway done. I only have four rows. So here, the first round, second, third, and the fourth. So for each one, we added an extra double crochet. So that's made our round bigger. I'm going to need eight. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The eighth one is this top one right here, which is hidden. So if you're gonna make this size basket, make eight. If you need to make a smaller one because you wanna make three baskets, then make six. So I've made my eight rounds. So if you needed to make six because you're making a smaller basket, that's okay too. So now we're gonna to start to work on the base of the basket. So we need to raise the sides and we're gonna do these with double crochets. So as you can see, we've worked them towards the perpendicular to the bottom part of the basket. So to do that, we're just gonna work double crochets as a front post. So we're gonna to have to start with a chain two. So let me get a little closer so I can show you. So we chain one and then two. Now what we're going to do is we're going to ignore these stitches up here. So we won't work in these. We're going to work into the posts. So these long pieces right here, these are the posts. And what you're going to do is you're going to insert your hook behind the post and push the post forward. So you're going to make a front post double crochet. And we're going to do that all the way around. So you make, you yarn over because you're going to make a double crochet, insert your hook behind the post, yarn over, and now you can just finish your double crochet. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. I'll do it again a little more slowly. So here's our post. We're going to yarn over, and I just normally hold the yarn with my index finger. Insert your hook behind the post, like so. Yarn over, and then you're gonna pull your hook out. So we have our three loops, just yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that's a front post double crochet. We're gonna make another one in the post right next to that. So yarn over, insert your hook behind the post, yarn over and pull your hook out, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and I'll show you one more so we go behind the hook and we finish our double crochet. So that's what it starts to look like. See, it starts to create a little edge. Now for the rest of the round, just keep making a front post double crochet until you finish the round completely. So I've gone all the way around and now I just have one last post left. So I'll work this last double uh, front post double crochet and then close my round and then I'll show you what the edges now look like. So I'll finish this double crochet. So now I'm going to look at the top stitch for the front post double crochet which is the first one in the round but we're going to be working this direction so I need to make my slip stitch a little differently than I normally would. So instead of just going straight into the stitch we're going to come into the stitch from the top. So find the stitch that you're going to be making your slips, um, your slip stitch into, and then don't go in like towards the front of the stitch. Come in from the top of the stitch towards you. So then just yarn over and pull your hook out and then just slip stitch. That way we can turn our work around and go in the other direction. Now if you lay your work flat and it looks funny, don't stress out, just pull the edges out a bit and then the pattern will start to make a little more sense. So you'll be able to see this little raised edge right here. 
So see how it now creates the base of the basket and a very clear side to the basket. And now all we have to do is just now add the walls of our basket. So we'll start working on the top part. And all of this top part is worked in single crochets. So instead of chaining two, like we have in at the beginning of a round, we're just gonna need to chain one. So once I get my yarn back and we're all set up, let's begin. So chain one, and we're gonna start working in single crochets. So skip the first stitch, so the one right next to the chain, go into the very next stitch, so not this one, this one, and just insert your hook. Yarn over and pull your hook out. And now you have two loops on your hook. So one and two. Yarn over and pull through both loops. And that's a single crochet. Go into the next stitch and we're gonna make another single crochet. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull your hook out, and then yarn over and pull through both loops. We're gonna make a front post single crochet in the next stitch. So find the post, remember you're using the post and not the stitch. Insert your hook behind the post. So see the stitch is on top. Yarn over and then pull your hook out. Now you have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through both loops. We're gonna make another front post single crochet. So we're gonna insert our hook behind the post yarn over and then we're going to pull the hook out. We have our two loops on our hook. Now we just yarn over and pull through both loops. So we have two front post single crochets and now we're going to make two single crochets. So go into the next stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, pull your hook out, and then we just yarn over and pull through both loops on our hook. So that's one single crochet. Go into the next stitch and make a single crochet. So there's two. Now the next two stitches are gonna be front post single crochets. So insert your hook behind the post, yarn over, pull your hook out. You've got two loops, yarn over, pull through two. And then we're gonna do one more front post single crochet in the next stitch. And there we go. So we have two single crochets, two front post single crochets, two single crochets, two front post single crochets. Repeat this all the way around. So that's all of, that's the only thing we're doing for these sides. So you can see it's two single crochets, two front post single crochets, two single crochets, all the way around. So I'm only gonna show you a little bit of the first two rows and then the rest of it you can make on your own. So. I'll show you these, uh, I'll show you two more of each. So we have two single crochets. So we have the first one. So something that always confused me when I was learning to crochet is that I thought the stitch right behind right there was the next stitch. If you're working on posts, that's not the stitch. See, because if you lift your post up, that stitch is hidden. So you need to go to the next visible stitch. So go to the next post and then it's the stitch above that one. So if you get a little confused, just remember to go to the next post and crochet into the stitch directly above that. So we need to make two single crochets. So there are my single crochets and we're gonna follow that up with two front post single crochets. So there's one, and then I'll make the second one. And there we go. So just keep repeating this pattern over and over until you make your way completely around. So I've worked all the way around, and I've got my two single crochets, and I'm going to end in two posts. So here are my two posts, and then I have to connect the round. So. I'll make my first front post single crochet. So there's one. And then I'll make the next one. So there's two. 
And now we're gonna close around in such a way so that we don't have to always make a slip stitch. That way it won't leave a little seam. So skip all of this stuff and go into the next stitch. If you're not sure where to go, find your first post and then count two stitches back. So the second stitch is the one you wanna go into. So skip all of that and go into that second stitch. And we're just gonna insert our hook like so and just single crochet. So by the next row, that won't be visible anymore and you can just crochet around and around without having to worry about um, closing your round. So then make your next double crochet, or single crochet, sorry, make a second single crochet, and then you're gonna get to your first post. So remember to insert your hook behind the post, and then yarn over, and now we can close our single crochet. Do the same thing for the post that's right next to it. Insert your hook, yarn over, and then close your single crochet. We're gonna follow that up with two single crochets. So we've got our first one, and then the second one, and then we have two front post single crochets. So there's one, and then we'll make the next one. All right, and there's two. So the next two stitches are single crochets. So there's one. So we make our first one right in that stitch. There we go. And we make a second single crochet in the stitch right after that. And then we have these two posts, so we front post single crochet into each of those. So there's the first one. And make sure you go at the top of the stitch, not at the very bottom part. So just try to go as close as you can to the very top. That way it'll keep a nice and even stitch. So there's two. Keep working this way all the way around. And then once you get to this edge, so to this side, we're just gonna make another single crochet and join both ends, and this will be the last time you'll need to worry about this. So get to this part, and then you're gonna count two stitches back, and you're gonna single crochet in that second stitch. After this row, the whole top part of the basket will be even, so you'll just crochet in the round over and over until you get to the height that you want for your basket. So make your way around and I'll see you when we get to this stitch over here. So I made it all the way around. And remember that my last stitches of the row were posts. So now I'm ready to begin the next round. So we're gonna close this, so go to that second stitch and now as you can see, when you lift up your work, it's going to be completely even. So we won't have to worry about closing any more rounds from here on out. We'll just keep crocheting the same pattern over and over. So I've made my first two single crochets. See, and now we are done, it's all even. And just keep the crocheting, two single crochets and then two front post single crochets all the way around. Your basket will start to look like this. So we're just at the very bottom part. Go ahead and work as many rows as you want. I just measured mine to see how big I wanted the basket. Um, and then we're gonna stop, oh, we're gonna work on this top part. Let me get my measuring tape and I'll show you. So this top part is about an inch. So I think it's about three or four rounds of single crochets. And the whole basket is about four and a half-ish inches. So just keep working the same pattern over and over until you get the basket as high as you want it. And then we'll start working on the edge and the strap after that. Something I wanted to show you, I've worked a couple of rows and it's starting to curl up. So you'll start to notice that your work might curl up. If you're working really loosely, it might not curl up quite as much. So see, 
The other basket, the, the pink one that I showed you, this one, did the same thing. So it curls up a little bit, but as you start working the top of the basket, it starts to open up. And then you just go and shape it with your hand. So you can also give it a better shape as you fill it with goodies for everybody and it will uncurl. So if you want to block it, um, you are also welcome to block it. I'm just gonna shape it with my hands later, but I wanted you to see that so that you wouldn't get scared. So I've kept crocheting. I'm now at about four and a half inches because I want this basket to be a little taller. So I've made about four and a half inches of this pattern, just over and over the same pattern. And now we're gonna work on the edge of the basket. So all of these were single crochets that were um, alternating between single crochets and then the front posts. Now the rest of our work is gonna be just straight single crochets. So I ended my rounds where I started. So here at the bottom part is where I had started working um, the front post pattern. So this is where I want to end the uh, front post pattern. And I'm just gonna start by making a single crochet here right next to that post. So the very last post I worked, I'm just going to work a single crochet in that stitch right behind it. I'm gonna hide this stuff in the back to make it a little easier to see. And then I'll go to the next stitch and just work a single crochet. In the stitch next to that, we'll also make a single crochet. And we'll make another single crochet. So notice that I've worked a single crochet above the two posts. You just are gonna work single crochets throughout the entire top part of the basket. So it doesn't matter whether you're working in, in the stitch that's above the front posts, you're just single crochet all the way around. So here I'm still stitching them. See, we're approaching our front post single crochets. And I'm just going to continue working a single crochet. So I'll just stick my hook into the stitch between the two posts and single crochet and single crochet in the stitch after that one. So that's it. You can see it's really easy. It's just a row of single crochets. Go around as many times as you want. I went about what, three or four times. So it looks like one, two, it looks like I went around three times. Um, I made this about an inch tall, so you can make it taller if you want to. We're just gonna work your way around several times. And remember, it's all just single crochets in every stitch. So keep working your the edge of your basket. Make it as tall as you want, or about an inch. And I'll see you when I finish. So I've made it to the end. I crocheted a total of four rows. And I finished in the, around the same area that I started, like, started in when I first started making the edge of the basket. So that's about where I want to end. And I'm just going to end with a slip stitch. So I'm gonna go into the stitch right next to the one I just worked, make a slip stitch, because we're gonna start working on the handle. So the handle, these are this is all a series of double crochets. So as you can see, I made six double crochets plus the chain, and then six, six, six up here, all the way to the other side, so that I made a nice and long strap. You should know that this does stretch quite a bit. So if you're making this basket for somebody who's small and you're gonna put it, and it's gonna have a lot of heavy items, you might wanna make it shorter because it'll stretch when they carry it and the basket will probably drag. So I made this one nice and long, but the one I'm working on right here, I'm gonna make this one short. So I'll give you the measurement for the one I made, or for the one I'm making here, um, as soon as I make a couple of rows. But we'll start making some rows now. We're gonna start with a chain two. And we're gonna go into the stitch right next to our chain and we're just gonna make a double crochet. So remember you yarn over and you insert your hook into the stitch that you're gonna work into. Then yarn over, pull your hook out. You've got three loops on your hook. So then you yarn over and pull through two of those loops. 
and then you yarn over and pull through two of the loops and that's our double crochet. You're going to need to make six double crochets. So I'll work a couple more double crochets with you. I'll make all six of them in case you need to see how you make them, but you just need to make six. So here's our last double crochet. So we finished this little row and that was six double crochets. And now we chain two. So there's one and then two. And we turn our work around. And now we're gonna work in towards the opposite direction. So we're gonna skip the first stitch, go into the second one, and we're just going to double crochet. So there's one, we'll go into the next stitch, there's two, there we go. just trying to work through these as quickly as I can. Okay, so we have two more stitches to make, so we're going to work into this stitch right here, so that'll be five, and then we're going to make another one in this space, but we'll finish this one, because see, if we go down here and we count these, remember that we made six, if we stop here, we're not going to have an even amount, so we'll have the chain space, and then we have five double crochets. If we keep doing that, we're going to start making a very narrow strap. So we want to keep the same number of stitches. So we want to keep our stitch count. So we're going to go into this little chain space and we're going to make another double crochet. So this is double crochet number six. And now our row is finished. So we're going to chain two. We're going to turn our work around. And we're going to do the same thing we did in the last row. So we're going to skip that first stitch and go into the next one and just make our double crochet. And we make one double crochet for every stitch of this row. So I'm using um, six double crochets for the straps because it makes them wide enough so that they're very comfortable to wear. It's not a very thin strap. So if it's kind of, if the basket's a little heavy, it won't dig into your kid's shoulder. And then it's also wide enough that your, their little hands can hold it. And since you're using yarn, it's going to be a very soft strap. So they should be able to hold it just fine. Right, so here we're on our last two double crochets of the row. So I've got this little one right in here. So we'll close that double crochet and then we have the last one of the row which is the one we work into this chain space. So there is six. And there we go. So we're just going to repeat this over and over until we make the strap um, long enough so that we can comfortably hold it. So here's my strap. I've worked 31 rows and that made it long enough so that it was comfortable enough to hold and it still wasn't going to be too long so that my kid would drag it after all the candies were in there. So I made it 13 inches long and again that was 31 rows. So if you want to count the rows go ahead otherwise go about 13 inches. So 12 to 13 inches is a good size for this strap. And we're going to have to sew it onto the other side. So I'm just going to crochet it onto it. But first I'm going to fold the basket in half and then I'll lay the strap where I want to sew it. So just make sure it's completely even to the other side. And I'm going to turn it, or turn the edge towards the inside because I want to hide the stitching. So 
I'll turn it up like that and then just line it up with the basket. And that way, when I'm done sewing it and I hold the strap up, you won't be able to see all the stitching. So I'll get my hook back into the yarn. Here we go, it's back into the loop. And you're gonna line up your stitches. So line up the stitches of the basket with the ones on the strap. So here are the stitches on the top. Make sure they line up with the ones right below them because we're gonna crochet these um, shut. So we're gonna sew them shut, I guess, with a crochet hook. So insert your hook into the, the stitch on the basket and then yarn over and pull the hook out of the stitch. And we are going to slip stitch. So pull that first loop through the second loop and there's our very first stitch. And now for our second stitch, we're gonna go through both the strap and the basket. So go through the stitch on the strap. See, there's our hook and there's this, the stitch. And then go through the stitch on the basket. So we've gone through both of them. Yarn over and pull through all of those stitches and then slip stitch. Now I'll show you one more. So here's the first stitch. So it's the one on the strap. And then I'm gonna go through the one on the basket and make sure that your stitches are lined up so that the basket ones and the ones on the strap are lined up and you don't have a little space in there. And then we slip stitch. So I'll just keep working on these last few stitches. So I'll finish this second to last one and I wanna make one more in this chain space right here. because so I just wanna make sure that the um, strap is securely fastened to the basket. So one extra stitch will just help me feel a little better about it. So I'll make one last stitch. So I slip stitch, but I don't think you could see it. So there's the slip stitch. And now we're just gonna cut a nice long tail of yarn. So you can either chain one now or you can cut the tail end of the yarn here and then chain one. And I do a chain one because it makes a nice tight little knot. So we'll chain one and pull everything out and then just tighten everything up. So now you'll need to just cut your tapestry or a yarn needle. Any needle that you can fit your yarn through will work. So thread your needle and we're going to hide all the tail ends. So we're all threaded. And I'm going to hide the tail end on the inside of the basket so you can't see it. So I'm going to start with a little knot. And then I'm just going to start stitching. So I'll just go in through the top and just stitch from top to bottom. And this is all in the back part of the basket on the inside. So I'll go around and do that again. And then I'm gonna change directions for this next stitch. So I'm gonna stitch right to left. So if you switch directions a few times, you make it a little harder for your work to unravel. So just switch directions every stitch and that way you can also, if your, uh, if your yarn is machine washable, you'll also be able to wash your projects without them becoming unraveled in the washing machine or in the dryer. So just give it a couple of stitches, switch directions every time. And then I'm just gonna give it this last stitch. And we will um, cut the end of the yarn and I'll show you what our basket will be, uh, what our finished basket looks like. So there we go, we pull that through and then just pull on the thread a little bit. And I'm just gonna cut it here at the end and give that top part a little tug and we're ready. So this is our finished basket. If you don't like this little edge part that it sticks out a little bit, 
just put a couple of items in your basket and leave it overnight. Make sure you stretch it out a bit. If it still didn't stretch out the way you wanted it to, um, spray it a little bit with water and then add a couple of items to the inside of your basket to loosen up the stitches and shape the basket the way you want. And we are done. So if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave it in the comment section down below. Hit the subscribe button. I post videos once a week. If you want the written pattern for this tutorial, hit the description box below. It will have the link to my blog where you can find this and many other patterns. If you wanna see what other work I've been up to or what we will be working on here on YouTube, follow me on Instagram. I'm at mode.bespoke. You'll get a sneak peek to all of the projects we will be working on. Don't forget to hit that like button. I love it when you do. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all again next week.